Hey guys, welcome back to another video, Tristan here, and today I'm showing with you how to write a web design proposal. Now, I have my very own example in front of me that I'm gonna share with you today, and also give it away if you're interested in having it as well. Now, I've used this proposal for a couple years now, and I've managed to land multiple businesses with it, so you're gonna find it super useful. Now it's really important to have a proposal that is well written, well structured, contains all of the information that is important to the business and one that also looks great as well. Now guys, before we move on, if you are just looking to download a proposal, swipe this file uh, and use it for yourself, you can do that. There is a link down in the description. So go ahead, click that and download the proposal. It is a template that I have put together, so feel free to go ahead and use it in your own business. So I actually use this proposal probably 90% of the time when I'm pitching a web design service. Now, obviously every client that I talk to tends to be on the phone and I explain to them the services, understand their problems, learn a bit more about them, and then tell them how I can help them get to where they wanna be in a nutshell. So whether the conversation has gone well and they are pretty much happy to move ahead with the project or whether they're just looking for more information, I will still send this proposal over regardless because essentially it is a summary of things that we've spoken about and it is gonna to highlight to them how I can help them with their web design problems. Now some people don't use proposals at all, they're natural born salesmen and that's just not me. I'm not the type of person that is looking to close people on the call. I'm not a pushy salesman. So I do prefer the proposal route and I find that I personally get more success with it. So if that is you as well, then you are gonna find this really useful. Now, many of you probably go down the route of sending an email to your prospect, highlighting what you've spoken about and how you can go about helping them in their business. And to be honest, that is that is fine. I've actually done that myself in the early stages of my business when I was maybe charging you know, 800 pounds or a thousand pounds for a website. To be honest with you guys, I didn't want to spend too much of my time putting together a really nice branded proposal to send to the prospect if they were just basically going to reject it or turn it down or if they were only spending 800 pounds or a thousand pounds or you know one thousand uh, dollars if you're in america and um, because they weren't really paying all that much for my time and i wanted to spend my time efficiently now the thing is with a decent web design proposal it can take a little bit of time to put together now the beauty of what i'm showing you today is my very own template now i've been using this template it takes me around 20 to 30 minutes to customize it for each client that I send it to, which means that I'm sending them over a very nice branded document and it's saving me a lot of time and hopefully it's gonna save you a lot of time as well. Now, the reason why I spend a bit of time on a branded proposal rather than just sending over a plain email or a box standard Word document is because I wanna be remembered. I want to send over a very nice polished document that they can sit and read it looks fantastic, explains everything that they're gonna get when working with me, and I'm gonna be remembered, which is key. I want to stand out against other people that are maybe sending emails or just sending Word documents that are not visually appealing and striking and are not really gonna do them any favors. So I definitely recommend always sending a very nice branded proposal when you are sending your proposals. So guys, before we dive into the screen and show you this proposal, I just wanted to say that over 90% of you that are watching my videos have not yet subscribed. So if that is you and you're liking my content, please do hit that subscribe button and the bell notification and you're gonna be notified of future releases. There are tons of videos on the channel as well for you to go and check out, which are gonna help you uh, learn how to build websites and up your website design game, improve your business, all of that stuff. So make sure you go and check those out. So here is the six page proposal in a nutshell, or essentially it is only four pages because two of these pages are cover images. So as you can see, it's very nice, simple, clean and concise already. So let's just dive straight in. You'll see that it's in sketch because I've used an art program here because I wanted to make it look very nice and visually appealing as opposed to sending over an email or just a Word document. Also, as you can see, I've gone landscape rather than portrait because again, I wanted to do something slightly different. So here we have our opening screen. And now if you are using this, you can see here that you need to put in the customer name like so. And I'd probably recommend changing Parker Digital Marketing, that is my agency and you can change that to your agency name as well, or just delete it, it's totally up to you, but be sure to change the customer name. So here we've just got the uh, the nice intro slide, it says hello there in a fairly sort of like quirky way, and then we've got a nice friendly waving hand emoji. So moving on, I've got a little bit of summary about my business. Again, you're gonna have to change this if it says, uh, if it does say Parker Digital Marketing, it's not gonna make sense to the client, so 
you could potentially just uh, delete that and just have a belt. I put you on good hands. Again, it's reassuring them that we know what we're doing. Just got an intro about the agency or my business and what it's like working with me. Um, down below, I've got contact information and how we can be contacted. Here we've got a blank field for email address. Uh, you can also put your phone number in there as well. It just sort of gives them peace of mind on how you can be contacted. Having uh, open contact with an agency or a business tends to be really important for business owners. So that is why I put that in there. Over on the right hand side, we've just got two testimonials. Now guys don't use these, they're just here as placeholders. Um, not gonna be impressed if you are just rehashing these. Use your own testimonials or if you don't have any, just, just take them out, it's, it's no big deal. But the reason why I'm using it is because uh, I just wanna reiterate to them that working with me is a good thing. This is where we start getting into the nitty gritty of the website project. So on the left hand column, I am giving a overview of what the project is going to entail, what their new website is gonna look like, what it's gonna include, and what problems we are solving initially. So it's super important that when you are talking to your prospects, you're gathering information and figuring out what problems they are having, because this is where you can start diving in to explain how you are going to fix some of their problems. So for example, this content here, I've kind of hashed together, but I remember working with a prospect whose website was an online store and it didn't appear as a conventional store when you landed on their homepage. So one thing that was important to them was making sure that their new website was in the way of a conventional store when you land on the homepage. So another thing I wanted to do in the paragraph below was just reiterate how easy the system is to use and how easy it's gonna be for the customer to manage it. I wanted to reiterate that they don't need to worry about any of the uh, search engine optimization effects when they start building a new website. I just wanted to make sure that that was all in hand. And I've also mentioned that we will supply ongoing reporting and, and things like that. Now, on the right hand side is where you start breaking things down really simple for them to understand. So, you know, reading this, you might think, well, that's really obvious, but it's not always obvious to the prospect. So it's really nice to just break this down. So for example, web, responsive web design comes as standard, meaning that the website will display beautifully no matter the device, be it tablet, mobile or desktop. I also wanted to reiterate that they'll be able to purchase, pro um, they'll have the ability to purchase products using e-commerce functionality and also Stripe as a payment gateway. They're gonna get a bespoke design that is unique and identifiable with the business and the brand throughout. Again, that would seem pretty obvious, but to the business owner, they just wanna make sure that it's clear that that's what they're gonna get. Ability to add, edit, and delete content pages, articles, text, and images yourself using the WordPress CMS. So this reiterates to them that they are in full control of their website, which a lot of businesses these days want. They don't want to be coming back to you multiple times a month or you know throughout the year saying, can you update X, Y, and Z? And you having to charge more for your time. They'll have the ability to navigate, uh, to change navigation items, uh, and so on and so on. So here we are essentially just breaking down individually everything that the website is going to include. So the next slide highlights the typical process with every web design project that takes place within the business. So again, we're using some nice fancy word in here, just saying taking your ideas and turning them into something usable. Um, so we're reiterating that we've already discussed the requirements, um, and now we can work together to deliver what they need. Down below, we're highlighting how long this project is likely to give them some benchmark timeframes here just to set the level of expectation. They, as a business owner, would like to know how long it's likely going to take to receive uh, milestones within the project or even the project as a whole. So here we're saying that designs will take three weeks and then we're saying that the build will take six weeks. Now, obviously six weeks is on top of the three weeks for the design. Um, content and testing takes around two weeks and go live can be done within 48 hours. Important message here is highlighting that timescales are subject to the feedback sign off of each stage. I found in the past that a lot of businesses drag the heels with providing feedback and stuff like that. It delays the project and then they blame you for things being late. So that kind of just highlights that they need to be on the ball as much as you do. Now on the left hand side, we're just highlighting a typical process. So we've got the design stage first. So we've obviously got designs on the left hand side. So we're just highlighting what that looks like. So one thing to note is 
We've got two flat design mockups that we often supply with a custom web design project, homepage and a sub page. They sign those off or they can request amends. Once they're signed off, you can move that into build. Development takes between four to six weeks. Now here we said six weeks, but I've highlighted that it could be four weeks, could be six. It kind of gives you a little bit of wiggle room depending on how much time you have at the time. And then we're just highlighting testing stages, the training, and then what happens when we go live. Now, the final slide here is the investment. Now, the emphasis is on the investment and not costs or pricing and things like that because a website is an investment to a business owner. We need to reiterate that they're investing in their website and it's gonna be super beneficial for them and hopefully profitable. So we've just got a couple of pricing tables here. And just to show you how, this, how I work this, we highlight some of the key elements that they're going to receive with this project. So design and build of website pages, WooCommerce implementation. So I, I'd like to try and explain that the WooCommerce functionality or e-commerce functionality is on top of the standard design and build of pages. And then we've got migration of existing content and products. Again, subjective, you might not have to do that within this web design project. Um, but essentially, just, just highlight some of the key benefits here. Um, just break it down really nicely for them because they want to kind of get an idea of um, what's included in that price. But don't go as far as like itemizing everything. So just find a nice balance. Then again, put the price in and the total. Now, what I also do is because as a business, we offer social media uh, management as well and social media posting, uh, analytics reporting, and SEO, for example, could be another one that you put in here. Put the pricing in, and then the total here, as you can see, is, is 850, but we can just put that as X. And so, yeah, that's pretty much it. One final bit here is making sure that you outline the payment terms. So I always take 50% deposit, and then the remaining bill to be paid upon completion. Now make sure you put your terms in there. And then final slide is questions. How do they contact you if they've got any questions? put your contact details in there. So there we go. This is in a nutshell, my proposal. And as I say, it's been working really well for me. It's small, it's beautiful uh, and clear and concise and contains all of the information that is important to the business owner. So there you have it guys. That was my proposal in a nutshell and hopefully you found it useful. Now either use the video to go through and build your own proposal or if you wanna shortcut it, there's a link down in the description where you can go and download this proposal for yourself as a template. Change the information in it, please. Don't just copy it exactly. Change as much as you can to make it unique to you, your business, your ethics, your process, everything that you basically deliver to the business and set those expectations correctly off the bat. Now guys, I just wanted to take the opportunity to say that if you are looking to improve your business further, I do have a new Facebook group that I've put together where I'm able to share more information with you and answer any of your questions that you have directly. Go ahead, there's a link down in the description. Join the group and I would love to see you on the other side. If you're not interested in the group, cool. Just remember to subscribe and hit the bell notification for future releases and go and check out the other videos on this channel as well. I appreciate everyone that watches the content and leaves a comment, so please do leave a comment if you've got any questions and I will see you guys in the next video.